What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Hey, if y'all haven't heard the breaking news, y'all not tuned in to ESPN, not on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I know a lot of my HBCU friends, family, followers. Have you, if you haven't heard the big news, uh, Hall of Fame safety for the Baltimore Ravens, um, Ed Reed was hired as the head coach at Bethune Cookman uh, down in Daytona Beach, Florida. Now, uh, I know a lot of people are going to wonder because we're starting to see a, a heavy influx, a heavy flow of former uh, NFL players, former coaches um, moving to the HBCU ranks and it just piling up and piling up. Uh, my question was, and I did it on a short just a few minutes ago on my um, Tavon E. Mason Sr.'s uh, YouTube channel and tagged it hot or not. Um, do we think this move for uh, Ed Reed or let's say Coach Ed Reed, Coach Reed to be exact, is a hot move or a not move? Is it just a wave of uh, former NFL guys trying to get that experience um, as college coaches but going to the HBCU realms um, to get it? Or are they significantly going because they want to make a difference and make that move and put that you know HBCUs on the map? And that's the question I'm putting out there. Now, my take. All right, let's go over our, our Coach Reed's history. Um, you know what he did in um, Baltimore with the Ravens, you know, ended his career with a Super Bowl, um, Hall of Fame after leaving the Ravens. Um, he went to the uh, Houston Texans. Uh, short stint, uh, hip injury, kept him off the field for a little bit. He rejoined with Rex Ryan in New York, where he finished uh, his playing career with the New York Jets and actually came down to Baltimore with the Jets to play the Ravens. I actually went to that game because you see I did play with the New York Jets. A huge, huge fan of Ed Reed. Um, got to play against him in 2002 uh, when we traveled down to Baltimore for a preseason game. Um, amazing, amazing talent at the University of Miami as well as in the NFL. And not only as a, as a safety, but we saw what he did of special teams as a, a punt blocker. Um, so he brings a lot of facets and a lot of different things, tangible things to the coaching field, not only his desire and, and motivation, as we saw in that one clip um, when he was at the University of Maryland, when the um, University of Miami, excuse me, and came back out and just killed uh, whoever they had played in that game. But just what he brings to the uh, field on a mental level, um, on a mental level as being knowledgeable and seeing the field and, and, and getting quarterbacks um, to bait, bait the quarterbacks to throw picks. So he definitely going to bring a, a, a needed advantage to Bethune Cookman, which I think is great. You know, so for me, I label this as a hot. I definitely love seeing it. Um, and the HBCU starting to get that needed traction, um, to be seen because we are talented and great Hall of Fame. You know, you have to say guys that who have played in NFL from HBCUs, Jerry Rice, Terrell Owens, um, and the list go on and on and on. Donald Driver, um, the list goes on and on and on and on. Michael Strahan, I'm just throwing them in, plugging them in. Um, Shannon Sharp. Um, so, no, I think it's definitely going to be a great move. And I think it's going to be a great, great move for Bethune Cookman to get more um, kids down there, more athletes, and get the attendance up. Definitely the next thing on the list is creating a, a coaching staff that could um, – see his vision, see his mission, and also coach the game as well because you know what it's going to be. Uh, probably not on the highest level of Coach Prime because, you know, Coach Prime brings that – he brings that it factor with his character, which he did playing in, uh, in the NFL and in the college. But he definitely going to um, be occupied with the media, with the news, just with the influx of everybody wanting to be a part of him. So having a, a great talented staff behind him. Um, to lead these uh, young men and men uh, into battles will be great while he become the face of Bethune Cookman. I um, definitely like seeing the influx and the heavy flow of former NFL players and former NFL coaches migrate to the HBCU levels to allow the world, the United States uh, TV to actually see the talent that is on HBCUs and not just on the Power Five schools. And it give our five stars, four stars um, talent the opportunity to go somewhere and play right now, uh, i.e. Travis Hunter, who was the number one receiver coming out of high school in Georgia and decided to go where at Jackson State University with Coach Prime is now went to the transfer portal to head to Colorado. So I definitely give this move a thumbs up. Salute to you, Coach Reed. Um, Got to say it properly and definitely looking forward to see what happened.